Loredana Toma has won the European Championships for the last three years straight. She's a 2018-2019 World Bronze Medalist in the 64 kilo category, and in 2017, the year that China's ban removed Deng Wei, the current highest ranked women's lifter in the world from competing, Loredana took gold at the World Championships. Since becoming a world champion in 2017, Loredana has still managed to improve, totaling over her gold medal winning total of 237 kilos at the 2019 European and World Championships, with 239 and 240 kilos respectively. The context of this competition for Loredana was that she had competed in four Olympic qualifying competitions, spread over the first two six-month qualifying periods, but she needed another total in the third qualifying period in order to be eligible. Fortunately, she chose the Roma World Cup, a competition that snuck in just before the sporting world shut down earlier in 2020, a couple of months before the rest of the world followed suit. Here she lifted her best ever numbers. It's also worth pointing out that the 64 kilo class is the most difficult from the women's side to win gold in. Deng Wei is the best weightlifter in the world right now, holding the most Roby points in total and in a single competition, beaten only by Lasha Talakadze on the men's side with his historic 220, 264, 484 win from Thailand. In 2017, Thomas snatched 109 kilos. In 2018, it was 110 kilos. In 2019, at the European Championships, she hit 111 kilos, beating that by a kilo at the World Championships, four months before this competition, with 112 kilos. So she needed 113 kilos in order to keep the PR game moving forward. Her desire to ensure the win first brought her to open as light as 100 kilos, a weight she hadn't opened with at a world championships level since 2013, and then 105 kilos on the second attempt to seal the gold over some incredible competitors, like Giorgio Bourguignon of Italy, who snatched 102 kilos, and Maud Charon of Canada, who also snatched 105 kilos.
She then took the largest jump in her weightlifting career. Not just the largest jump of her snatches ever, but larger than any jump to a gold medal winning third attempt clean and jerk ever. She jumped from 105 kilos to 113 kilos. 8 kilos, 7.6% to a new competition best. And she was pretty happy with that. The way that Roby points work is that if you equal the world record from the beginning of the qualification process and earn no bonuses from higher tiered competitions, you get 1000 points. Lift at a bronze tier event, something like the Arnold Champs or the Tramelan 210, and you get no bonus. Lift at a silver tier, something like the Fijia Cup or a World Cup event like this one, and you get a 5% bonus. Lift at a world or continental competition, and you get a 10% Roby bonus. At the last two world championships, equipped with a 10% Roby bonus, Loredana was able to sail across the 1000 point mark. Not because she exceeded the world records, but because she earned a total that awarded her 900 plus Roby points which, with the 10% reward of being able to compete on the big platform, moved her over 1,000 to 1,027 at the 2019 World Championship. Someone like Deng Wei, who actually exceeded the world record and received the 10% bonus, ended on 1,357 points at the 2019 World Championships because she smashed so many records. It's worth remembering as well that Roby points are exponential, as in each additional kilo that you add to your total rewards you with more Roby points than the additional kilo would. And so Deng Wei's excess 330 points over Loredana comes from her spiraling out of control, with her last kilo giving her as many as 17 Roby points. All of this to explain how amazing this performance from Loredana was. Not only did she beat her best performance ever by 9 kilos, but she beat her Robies by 81 points, doing so in a competition where she didn't even receive all of the points that she would receive from a gold tier event. In the clean and jerk, she opened at 122 kilos, 93% of her competition best. She then jumped to 130 kilos, her second ever 8 kilo jump, 99.3% of her competition best, before making another 6 kilo jump to a 5 kilo competition PR of 136 kilos.
Years of progress. One or two kilos per year. Inching her way forward. Only to be rewarded with nine kilos all at once. It's funny how it happens. Also uploaded to the Weightlift House Patreon is a commentary video of Lara Dinotoma lifting sort of opposite in the training hall Alien Sukumatana from Australia. So if you want to check that out, the link is down below. 